Maltese One box, which was originally located up next to the TV by the fireplace, okay, was in the Bluetooth mode so that when you pointed the remote at it or you pointed the remote in another room that was close, it would change channels. At this point, if I block the remote, there was a lot of postings and videos on the internet about pairing an Altice One remote with the Altice box by going into the menus, settings, and pairing remote by hitting the seven and nine keys until the screen says it is paired. There is nothing I found posted recently about unpairing the remote or hence putting it back in IR. All you need to do is if the remote is already in Bluetooth is to pick up the remote, press and hold the seven and the nine and until about five, 10 seconds, the remote buttons will all start flashing white. At that point, you can let go. That doing this while pointing at the Altice One box, the Altice One box will go into IR and so will the remote. The way to test it is to take the Altice remote and put it under your armpit or block the front and you'll notice it won't change channels when you're pointing at the box. After unpairing the remote, when you cover the front, you'll notice it will not change channels because it is in the IR mode. Whereas once it's in the IR mode, you have to point it at the box, it will change channels. The final thought on this process is the fact that the IR pickup on the Altice box is actually located dead center of the remote. You'll notice my partner is changing channels to the Santac IR relay. Locate your emitter below the channel indicator and you will be fine. I feel for the first